Hey guys, it's your boy Zen Rages. Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be showing you things that you must do before you work out. Let's get into the video. So before you work out, there are things that you must do and I'll show you the things that you got to do first and then I'll explain why you've got to do them. So let me show you what you got to do. First things first, you got to make sure to warm your body up because your body doesn't like cold and you're more prone to injuring yourself. And I fumbled on that one. Uh, so that's one thing you've got to do. If you want to make sure you're, you're able to do things properly, you want them to be explosive, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You've got to get the blood running through your system. Skipping is a form of it. You can do it without skipping, just do a little, a little bit of this. Whatever you feel like, just get your body warm. So you're all warmed up, are you? Nah, you're not ready yet. We're gonna go through the places where you're supposed to warm up. This is specifically for Cali. You can do something for legs as well. And I can show you a video for that one. But for hands, elbows and shoulders these are fundamental parts in calisthenics and if you don't sort these out before you work out you're finished so let's start off with some just a little bit of leaning forward you don't want to feel any pain when you're doing this you're going to feel slight discomfort but enough where you can hack it because you're warming these up you don't want these to be stiff when you're working out and by changing your hands in different areas you can warm them up in different ways, like this. <laughs> and then for the false grip especially, there's one thing that I've been doing, and you just go like this, and you twist your elbows in. You'll feel this a lot on your wrists. Do it to where you feel comfortable. So for me personally, I feel more comfortable like this. If I go like this and then try to twist my elbows in, they don't twist because it's putting a lot of strain on my, on my wrists. So over here for me, and then twist, twist. Another thing you can do for false grip is you put your knuckles beside each other and like this. Whenever you're doing this stuff, make sure you're doing it dynamically. You don't want to be static stretching because we're not, this is not after workout, it's before a workout. If you got this and then you stay in there for a long time, who knows, when you work out, you might injure yourself. So that is the wrists. Now we're going into the elbows. These are the most important things. So for your elbows, make sure you warm them up by going like this. You want to make sure you rotate your elbows in because this is the kind of senex position. When I first started, even getting to this position was difficult and it still is. It still has room to improve. So make sure you warm up this part and you have less issues with your elbows. Another thing you gotta do is, you got this, bend down, push your elbows in, and then raise, like a push up. But on your knees, you don't want this to be painful, like every other thing, you don't want it to be painful. It's very fundamental that you work on these because this will give you a lot of problems if you don't sort it out before you work out. That is all I have for the elbows. So let's get on to the shoulders. For the shoulders, you can use whatever you like, resistance band, a broom, a stick, or like me, a skipping rope. And what you gotta do is, you gotta make sure it's in a nice, tight enough position so that you feel a little bit of a stretch, put it behind you. This is very good for your shoulders, very good. And I've had this, I've done this almost before every muscle up workout and I feel so loose, it's unbelievable. You got this as well, single arm rotations. Eventually, the more and more flexible you get, you can put your hands closer and closer. <sighs> That's a bit hard for me. <laughs> But you get closer and closer and that will allow your shoulders to move better now let's get on to some protraction and retraction exercises you must do 
before you work out. Let's go. Let's start off with the protraction. So with the protraction on your knees, in the push-up push position, protract. Protract as much as you can, retract. Protract, retract. Protract, retract. With retraction, it's much easier because you're allowing gravity to pull yourself closer to the ground. All you gotta do is move your shoulder blades behind you. That's it. And when you're projecting, you push your shoulder blades as far as possible. You feel this around your rotator cuffs, in your shoulders, rear delts, amongst other places around your sh shoulders, even your traps. Make sure you tense your glutes and your abs when you're doing this. All right, so we're switching up the location for the retraction because this is in my front garden and why not? Also, there's my bike in the back. Please don't steal it. I've had so many bikes feed in the last couple of years. So anyways, back into retraction. So what you want to do is you want to get in an Australian pull-up position. Did you see how I just teleported there? You want to fully protract, retract, protract, retract, protract. Retract. Don't tumble like I just did. Uh, so there, yeah, that is one of the most important things you can do uh, before you work out. These, all of these things I told you, I'll explain as to why you've got to do them and why it's beneficial for you. Um, but that is the end of the warm ups. All right, so let's go through it. What we did, we warmed up. We're warming up these, these muscles. We're trying to increase the flexibility of our wrists. Make sure we don't have any tendonitis issues in our elbows or have any issues with our shoulders because a lot of athletes tend to have shoulder issues, especially people who do bench press, anything push related. I've seen many problems and they all usually come from shoulders. So shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Wrists are important because if you're doing any push activity, you'll feel it regardless of your wrists. I noticed when I was first doing handstands, I couldn't even have my wrists out like this. I had to have them out like this because they felt more comfortable. Now I'm getting much more better at it because I have been warming up. So likewise with the, with the elbows, you can get tendonitis. I know many people have had tendonitis. I initially had tendonitis when I was doing my pull-ups at 85 kg when I had no muscle. Mind you, no muscle. And I promise you, I was in agony, in agony. Uh, but I pushed through it because I wanted the gains, but you shouldn't push through it. You should allow yourself to be warmed up in these areas. You want to make sure your tendons, especially, are, are clear and ready to go because your tendons can take much longer than your, than your muscles to recover. Last thing is shoulders. Shoulders is so important. Your shoulders, move more than any other part of your body. They go up, to the side, back, forward, down. Literally, they go everywhere. They're the most mobile joints in your body. So make sure you look after them, which is why I gave you the this exercise, the protraction and retraction, because your body needs to be primed for this stuff in order to achieve a fantastic workout. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have given you a lesson on what you should do and why it is beneficial for you to do it. And I hope you take this video and watch it before you work out next time. Mainly everything I've been showing you has been push and pull related. Anything for legs, please hit me up. I will post a video on what to do for legs because I had stiff legs before and now they're starting to become a bit more malleable <laughs> anyways i hope you lot enjoyed this video please like subscribe and please turn up post notification bell on so you man don't miss out because zen rages is what you man need to see anyways take care guys peace